a problem similar to the the one you talked about on, on my open math. This is on uh, out of section four one, and it's another exponential growth kind of kind of problem. And what you got to remember, if you go back and look at that example five and a couple pages before this, they talk about if you want to find out what what how something grows, you have some initial value times some base that you, we don't know what it is to the some t or x power. Now they will go on to say in the, the example about the deer is that this base is can be written as as one plus whatever whatever the the rate is the annual rate is or the growth rate is um, because there this is growing annually they aren't telling us there's any extra compounding going on so the other way to think about that is that that's one hundred percent plus the growth rate. Divided by 100. So if we can find that B number, we can work it backwards to, to find the growth rate. And if B is less than 1, then we know that it's a decay rate, or in how much is gr it's decreasing each year. This is a growth rate because the value is going up. If, we, if it was a depreciation, it would be a negative growth rate. So that's where we're going to go with this. So I'm seeing that the first year they're talking about is 1985. So I'm going to write that as 0. 110. I'm not going to write all those thousand zeros. We'll just know that Y is in thousands of dollars. And then we know that um, in 25, uh, 2005, it was 20 years after that. So we can say the time is 20. The house is worth $145,000. So we can set up our little exponential growth equation. We know that 145 equals the initial value times some growth rate or gro some, some base to the 20th power. And to solve that, we divide both sides by 110, and let's see, I did that earlier. I'm getting 1.3182, yada, yada, b to the 20th. So then I'm going to take, to solve this, I'm going to take the 20th root of both sides. Now your calculator does have a key where you can specify that in, but all I ever do is I, I'll take that number. In fact, I'm going to leave the whole thing in my calculator. And I'm going to raise it to the 1 divided by 20. Because remember, when you radicals like square root of x is x to the 1 half. The cube root of x is x to the 1 third and so on and so forth. Okay, so I'm going to take that last, that answer, and raise it to the 1 over 20 power. Make sure you use parentheses. And that's getting me 1.0139. I'm tired of doing decimal places. So what you got to remember, this is the same as 100 plus the rate divided by 100. So if I work backwards and make this make this a percentage, and then take away the 100 percent. Um, so that that's going to give me a th one. Uh, I did this wrong. I'm going to get one point. So I'm going to 100, so I'm getting 100 and 1.39%. And to subtract off the 100%, you're going to get 1.39%. And that's the annual growth rate. Okay. So our B, this is our this number here is our B, and that's what's going to go into our equation. And then we'll have the 110. So let's see, can I squeeze this in? I'm going to get Y equals 110 times one point. 382 to the t or to the x power. Okay, so that's our equation. Now what we're going to do is we're going to find out um, what what the what the house worth in 2010. So in 2010 is 25 years after 1985. So I just substituted in um, the, the the time and for, to, for the x or the t whatever I used. And I got that, which works out to be 155,336-ish if I typed it in right. Okay, so I hope that helps you work on these kind of problems.